Hello, hello. Mirna, Verónica, Dinora, Mauricio, Avi. Hello, teacher. Hi. Good, Good evening. Good evening. Hello, How are you today? Fine, thank you. Fine. Okay, me too. I am Hi. happy. Right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. Now, um, let's go to the class. Let's go. Oh, Mauricio, excuse me. New camera, Perfect. right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's neat. The image is neat, right? Congratulations. <laughs> nice. Okay, Thank nice. You. Nice. Okay, very good. Mirna, the baby is sleeping now, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yes. So you're going to stay with us all the class. <laughs> okay, yes. Good. Good. Now let's start immediately, right? Today, no power pro, uh, PowerPoint presentation. Sorry. Oh. Only the, the platform, right? So let's start with the review. Today I have a surprise for you, right? A game. Huh? So we're going to play. Now let's start with the platform. Let me see here, right? Okie dokie. Point point six. Okay. Let's practice the conversation again. The conversation is, I come from a big family, right? Let's practice pronunciation. Again, for the last time. Wow, is that? Do you come from a big family? Listen to me, Lee and Marcus talk about their family. I come from a big family. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Actually, I'm an only child. Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. I didn't know that. What about you, Marcos? I come from a big family. I have three brothers and two sisters. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. But big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Now, listen and repeat, please. Listen and repeat. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Okay, only Mirna. Repeat, Mirna, only you. Okay, teacher. How many brothers and sisters do you have, Meili? Okay, now everybody, come on, everybody, repeat. Actually, actually, I'm an only child. I'm, please don't say I'm, I'm not, it's I'm, I'm an only child. Good. Now, Mauricio, please. Mauricio Larcón, repeat only you. Actually, I'm an only child. Good. Thank you. Now, everybody, everybody, really? Really? Yeah. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. Most families in China have only one child nowadays. Yeah, most families in China have one, sorry, most families in China have only one child nowadays. Only Christy, Christy, ready? Repeat, only you. Yes, teacher. Yeah, most families in China have only one child nowadays. Good, everybody, please, everybody. I didn't know that. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't know that. Only Veronica, please. Only Veronica, repeat, Veronica. 
okay? I I didn't know that. Okie dokie, thank you. Now everybody, everybody, what about you, Marcos? About, ba, 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 about. What about you, Marcos? Only Dinora, please repeat, Dinora. Okay, what about you, Marcos? Okay, thank you. Now, everybody, repeat. I come from a big family. I come from a big family. Only Avi, please, only you, Avi. I come from a big family. Good, thank you. Good pronunciation. Now, everybody, repeat, repeat. I have three brothers and two sisters. Three brothers. I have three brothers and two sisters. Rocio, please, only you. I have three brothers and two sisters. Good, everybody. Wow. Is that typical in Peru? Typical? Peru? Is that typical in Peru? Josabeth, please, only you. Well, is that typical in Peru? Okay, come on, Josabeth. But remember, you're an actor, right? You, you have to say, wow. Okay, Josabeth? <laughs> come on, again, again. Okay. Wow, is that typical in Peru? Nice. Okay, good. Now, everybody, please repeat. Not really. Not really. A lot of families, a lot of families are smaller these days. A lot of families smaller these, these days. Good. Now, Mirna, no, no, sorry, Alfredo. Hello, Alfredo. Repeat this part, please. Alfredo? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Repeat, please. Not really. A lot of families are smaller these days. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Again, no, not really. Not really. A lot of families are smaller than they stay. Excellent. Thank you, Alfredo. Now, everybody, please, everybody, everybody. But big families, but big families are great. But by big family are great. Oh, thank you, Alfredo. Yeah, that's that's okay, Alfredo. Don't worry. Now, everybody, everybody, please. Ahora todos pronunciamos, todos. Okay, but big families are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Presents, birthday, lots of big families. Okay, only Godofredo, please. Godofredo. Está lloviendo un poco, pero no sé si se escucha. Lo Así escucho. No yo lo escucho perfectamente, Godofredo. Lo escucho perfectamente. Come on, try. But. But big families. Are great because you get lots of birthday presents. Okay, thank you, thank you very much. Good. Now, let's read the commentaries. Vamos a ver los comentarios. Avi escribió por acá, pero quiero ver este de quién es. Antes quiero ver de quién es este. Wendy, no, no, Wendy no está en nuestro grupo. Avi sí. They live in Texas and her mother is teacher mm -hmm. in the university and her father is a carpenter. Okay, good. Now, in this case, a teacher, well, with uh, Abby with a uh, lower case letter, right? Con mi minúscula. Mm -hmm. And normally you say is a teacher, right? But your sentence is very good, Abby. Congratulations, right? Rodrigo, no. Cristina here, right? 
how many brothers and sisters uh, okay. do May Lee and Marcos have? It's a good elaborated question. It's una pregunta muy elaborada. Congratulations, Cristina. May Lee doesn't have any brothers and any sisters. Right? Okay, hasta ahí vamos a leer. Thank you, Cristina. Rocío, how many brothers? Aquí no faltó la S, ¿verdad? Rocío. And sisters does. Aquí como May Lee solo es una, ¿verdad? Entonces vamos a decir aquí does, Rocío. How many brothers and sisters does May Lee have? Okay. She, she is an only child. Okay, good, nice, very good. How many brothers and sisters does? Otra vez aquí, ¿verdad? Das, como es tercera persona, does Marcos have? Okay, thank you, thank you very much for your commentary, Rocío. And el último, vamos a ver de quién es, si es de nuestro grupo. José Eduardo Alas. No, 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 no. Okay, good. Thank you for your commentaries. Thank you very much. Now let's continue. Okay. Here, right? Quantifiers. Quantifiers. Espero que hayan estudiado esta parte porque es de aprenderse bien los quantifiers. Vamos a Let's see. Come on. Let's see. So in other words, quantifiers, when we don't know the exact percentage of something, we use words like some, most, a few. Stay and learn more quantifiers and how to use them. Okay, listen. When you don't know the exact quantity, you can use quantifier, right? When, for example, when ustedes dicen, uh, de los 100 alumnos que habían, 97 eh, hicieron la tarea, 97. So in this case, you say nearly all, right? No sabemos exactamente si fueron 97, pudieron haber sido 92, pudieron haber sido 99. Entonces, como usted no sabe la cantidad exacta, entonces usted dice nearly all. Entonces, para eso usamos los quantifiers, cuando no sabemos las cantidades exactas, ¿ok? Now, let's see. Quantifiers. All families have only one child. Nearly all families have only one child. Most families have only one child. Okay, now good. Look at this. All is 100%, right? And no one is 0%. So we go from 100% to 0%. Now, let me see. Avi, nearly all, what percentage is? ¿Qué porcentaje cree que usted, usted uh, Avi, que es nearly all? ¿Será un 50%, 50%, 80%, 97%? I think it's 95% or 96%. That's it, right? Not exactly, yes. but uh -huh, 95, 96, uh -huh. 96. Okay, good. Thank you. Yes. Now, Rocio, most. Most. What, what, is per, what percentage is most, Rocio? Um, un 80%. 80, 85, 90, right? Possible, right? Okay, thank you. Yo saber. Many, many. What percentage is many, Josabet? Or a lot of the same, right? Many or a lot of? Mm -hmm. mm, a lot of mm, 50? Mm, I, I guess it's a little bit more. Creo que es un poquito más arriba de 50. 60? 60, <laughs> 70, 75, right? Even 80, también podemos decir, inclusive 80, right? Okay, and some, how many do you think is some? Eh, Mauricio Alarcón, please, Mauricio. Some. Uh, uh, 50%. 50%, right, 50%. Yeah, that's it, right. Mirna, not many, a few. Mm, 15%. 15%. 20%. 25, 10%, right? Yes, similar. Yes. Not exactly, but similar. Okay, thank you. This is important, right? 
Esta parte es bien importante para contestar el knowledge check. Si dominan estas, el porcentaje de todos estos, pues ya tienen una idea de cómo usarlos y qué significa cada uno. Ok, now, continue with the video. Many families are smaller these days. A lot of families are smaller these days. Some families are smaller these days. Not many couples have more than one child. A few couples have more than one child. Few couples have more than one child. No one gets married before the age of 18. Okay, pay attention. They're talking about China, right? And this family is from China. And then I say, all family have only one child. Toda la familia en China tiene un solo niño, right? O tal vez puede ser nearly all, casi todas. Tal vez el, se le escapó al gobierno una pareja ahí, tuvieron tres, ¿verdad? Most family have only one child, right? La mayoría, la mayoría, ¿ok? Many families are smaller these days, right? Muchas familias son pequeñas ahora en el presente. Ahora ya no existe esta ley de un solo niño, ya desapareció en China. Pero obviamente las familias quedaron pequeñas. So we say many, muchos, a lot of, o some, o quizá el 50%, la mitad y la, son pequeñas, la mitad grande. I don't know, right? Not many couples have more than one child, right? A few couples, o few couples have more than one child. A few, a few es, significa lo mismo, a few. Right? ¿Ok? Son poquitas las parejas, ¿verdad? O no son muchas las parejas que tienen más de un niño. ¿Ok? Un 10%, un 20%, un 30%, si nos atrevemos a decir, tienen okay, más de un niño. ¿Mm? And no one gets married before the age of 18. Nadie se casa antes de los 18. ¿Ok? Así es que lo siento, Godofredo, todavía no puede casarse. <risa> ok, so, eh, this is zero percent, right? Nadie se casa antes de los 18. Aunque en nuestro país hoy sí se pueden dar esos casos, ¿verdad? Muchos jóvenes le qu quieren casarse ya. Ok, now. Listen, please. Notice how these quantifiers have an estimated percentage. If you want to make reference to 100%, you may say all. And then you work down the scale depending on the percentage you want to refer to. Follow me in this example. Nearly all women work nowadays. Nearly all, quantifier. Women, plural noun. So in other words, all quantifiers come before plural nouns. Except no one. No one gets married before the age of 18. No one, quantifier, gets the verb. As a tip, ask your teacher to remind you about count nouns so you are able to use these quantifiers. Okay, coming back to this, right? Uh, according to the video, right? All of these quantifiers refer to countable noun, right? Okay? Uh, en este caso, vimos en el, ayer en la presentación de PowerPoint que algunos de estos, como all, nearly all, or most, por ejemplo, se refieren a nombres contables y a nombres no contables, right? Countable and no countable nouns, right? Podemos usarlos en ambos. Pero acá los estamos usando solo con nombres contables. Countable nouns. Families, for example, are countable. Say, one family, two families, ok, three families. Se pueden contar. Y son singulares y plurales. One family, two families. Ok. Esas son las características de los countable nouns. Y todos, todos hablan de countable nouns, except the last one, el, excepto el último. El último sí es singular, right? Es singular. Por eso usamos gets. ¿Eh? No usamos get, sino que gets. Ok. Good. So, I don't know if you have any, que any question about this. No sé si hay alguna pregunta sobre este tema. Any question, class? No, Total. teacher. Okay, thank you. Totally silence in this moment, right? <laughs> okay, good. Now, let's go to the commentary, right? Rodri... Uh -huh. No commentaries. What happened? Ah, no, es que se borraron, creo. <laughs> Oh, come on, class, I need your commentaries. I enjoy reading your commentaries. 
Me fascina leer sus comentarios, pero ¿qué pasó ahora? Pues no, no hay ninguno. Ok. Now, let's go to the knowledge check, right? Now, let's read it together, right? Look, you're going to select one of the options. But you have to remember the percentage. Se tienen que acordar del porcentaje de las expresiones que usamos, ¿verdad? Ok, look. In China, 50% of women get married by the age of 22. Ok, 50%. Good. Now, remember the, the, the quantifier, right? Now, 50% represent a lot of, few, or all. Ok, a lot of. Few or all. Let's go back, right? Vamos otra vez al video para que nos ubiquemos. Uh, here, right? All, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, not many, few, few, no one, right? Okay. So what is the appropriate? ¿Cuál de estos sería el apropiado entonces? Don't answer, please. It's a rhetorical question. <laughs> okay. In Australia, 80%, 80% of married couples have children. 80%. 80% represents not many have children. Listen to the question, right? 87% de las parejas casadas tienen tienen, right? Now, in this one, it says not many have children, right? Some have children. Nearly all. Again, let's go back to the video. Nearly all, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Number three. In the United States, ah, this is easy. 0% of, of the people vote before the age of 18. Few people, all people, or no one. Esa creo que está fácil. Okay, come on, you can do it. Now, 35% of the people in Germany live alone. Some people, a few people, or most people. Remember, it's 35. 78% of American high school students have jobs. 78, right? Most American students, not many American high school students, or all American high school students student have job, right? So you're going to check this. Did all of you finish? Aunque si ya lo hicieron todos, podemos hacerlo ahorita, si quieren, right? If you want. Pero si hay alguno que no lo haya hecho, pues tengo que dejárselo a ustedes solito. <laughs> so, did all of you finish? ¿Todos lo terminaron ya? I'm not, teacher. No, ok, good. Thank you for your, your honesty. Thank you for your honesty, right? Ok, but I consider is, is, if you understand, right? Si entiende los porcentajes, si es bueno en estadística y matemáticas, pues aquí no va a tener problemas, ok? Thank you. Now, let's go to the last exercise for tonight. But before to go to the last exercise tonight, we are going to play a game. Remember I told you I have a surprise to practice vocabulary, right? Okay. Now in this, in this uh, uh, game, we're going to play with, with some, some words, right? Some words. So I will mime Voy a hacer una mímica, right? I will mime. And 
you are going to guess, guess, adivinar. You're going to guess what is the thing I am talking about, right? And again, it's the same. Girls versus boys. Girls versus boys. Okay? Now look at the teacher, please. Look at the teacher. If I hear a voice of a girl, the girls have one point, right? Si escucho la, la voz de una chica, the girls are the winner, right? Yesterday, what happened? Uh, ayer, ¿quién, ¿quién ganó? Creo que las chicas ganaron, ¿verdad? The girl. The girls. Now, now boys, it's your opportunity, boys. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. Okay. I will make the, the money. If I hear a voice of, the, of a man or of a boy, so you're the winner, right? So let's start. Watermelon. 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 Very good. Watermelon. <laughs> the girls. You got one point. Girls, you have one point. Next one, please. Smile. Sleep. 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 Midnight. Take a nap. A nap. Pillow. 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 Okay. Pillow. That's it. Girls to put again the girls. Come on, boys. Let me see. Alfredo, Godofredo, eh, Mauricio. Come on. I need action. Come on. Next one. This is difficult. Pay attention, please. This is difficult, right? Uh huh. I know I did. Car. <laughs> Car, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. Octopus. <laughs> Octopus. Come on. Very good. Uh -huh. Octopus. Eight tentacles, right? Eight tentacles. Okay. <laughs> That's it, right? Only the girls again. Okay. Next one, please. Let me check. Oh, this, this is good, right? Spider. Spider, okay, the boys. Spider, that's good, right? Next one, please. Dog. Right. Kangaroo. Sorry? Right. Kangaroo. No, no, no. Janet. Oh, sorry? Janet. Yeah. No, but that's the occupation, the object, the object. Uh, piano. Horse. Piano, very good. Horse, <laughs> come on. Horse. That is a horse, right? <laughs> no, piano, piano. Okay. Three, two, three, two. Come on, boys, you can do it. Next one, look. Rabbit. Kangaroo. 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 Very good. Kangaroo. Three, three. Recover, right? Recover the boys. That's nice. Okay. Now, next one. Balloon. Balloon. Yes, balloon, right? Soccer boy. In this case, look. <laughs> okay. Four. Four, three, right? Next one. Check it out, please. Uh, 
crab. Yeah. That's crab. it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crab. Yeah. Okay, and the last one, right? The last one. Corn. Corn. <laughs> That's it, right? Corn. Yeah. Corn. Okay, the girls are the winners again. Okay, but yeah. boys, congratulations. You did very well too, right? You did very well. Las chicas tienen ese juego, quizás. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. That's it, right? Now let's continue. Let's continue with the reading, right? Okay, let me check this. Here, right? This is the last exercise. Okay, reading exercise. The changing family said, right? Instructions. Read the article, then answer these, these questions. Write the names of the family members. Only the names. Okay, so in other words, you cannot write other thing, right? Da, he, she, no, no. Only the names, according to this. So let's start reading. Let me give me a second here. Here we're going to practice pronunciation. Just give me a second. Here, right? Give me a second, please give me a second. Okay, thank you, thank you. Now let's start reading. Okay. Listen, please. American families are changing. One important change is that most married women now work outside the home. What happens when both parents What happened? I'm oh, sorry. Eh, no sé cómo quitarle esto. Sorry. Okay, here. What happens when both parents work? Read about the Morales family. Okay, number one, we're going to discuss vocabulary. Class, do you have questions about the meaning of some words? What? Both. Uh, means ambos. In this case, we're talking about the father and the mother. Okay, so when I say both, is that uh, the father and the mother are working, right? Both. Mm -hmm. So I have, for example, two brothers. Both work in San Salvador, for example, right? Both. My two brothers, two, only two, right? Two brothers works in San Salvador, work in San Salvador. So they both work in San Salvador. Okay, good. Any other question? Y ese es para toda la cantidad, digamos. De... Any, any, any. Could ah. be two persons, two animals, two, two houses, two cats, <laughs> for everything, right? And it's countable, it's countable, right? Because in this case, you cannot say both waters. Amba, how was? No, 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 you cannot say that. Mm -hmm. Only countable, for countable, right? Mm -hmm. Both. And the pronunciation is th -th 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 -th. both. 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 Uh -huh. Like you say, th thank you. Thank you, right? Thank you. Thank you. It's this sound, right? Este sonido solo es un sonido inglés. Uh, mm -hmm. Se saca la lengua en medio de los dientes, like, like this, right? Both. Y, y se sopla, both. se deja salir el aire. Uh -huh. uh, perdón por la referencia, ¿verdad? Pero eh, el sonido es como, como lo pronuncian en San Miguel. Soy, soy de San Miguel, ¿verdad? Right? San Miguel. Eh, eh, o cuando decimos thank you, thank you, thank you. Both, both. Ok, good. Now, any other question about vocabulary? No. Ok. 
Do you understand the meaning of married? Married, yes? Silvia, for example, yeah. Silvia, do you know the meaning of, how do you say married in, in Spanish? Silvia? Casado. Casado. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. This is the song, right? Esta es la canción, listen. Tan, 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 tan. Okay? Yes or no? <laughs> okay, let's continue. Judy and Steve. Siempre me sale esto, no sé por qué. Okay, give me a second. Okay. Um, Judy and Steve have three children. Ahí estamos. Judy and Steve Morales have three children. Josh, 12, Ben, 9, and Emily, 6. Steve is a computer programmer. This year, Judy is working again as a, as a hospital administrator. The family needs the money, and Judy likes her job. Everything is going well, but there are also some problems. Okay, this is the story, right? Now, questions, questions about vocabulary? No questions? Okay, I have questions. Let me see. Uh, Mauricio, listen to me, please. Children is singular or plural, Mauricio? Uh, singular, singular. Three ah, children. It's, it's plural. plural. It's plural, right? It's an irregular plural. Okay? Children. In United States, they call the children kids. A los niños en Estados Unidos, así como en Chile, les dicen cabritos. Cabrito, vení, right? Kid. Kid. The kids, right? Es porque uh, los, los hijos de algunos animales tienen ciertos nombres. Por ejemplo, um, eh, las cabritas, goat, goat, los hijos de las cabritas se dicen kids, right? Lo de los perros, dogs, puppy. Hay unos uh, zapatos en ad hoc que sí se llaman hush, puppies. Cachorros hush, cachorros hush, hush puppies. El de los, de los patos, dog, se dicen duckling. El de los osos, bird, leones y tigres, right? It's cub, C-U-B, cub. El de las vacas y el de los, las ballenas, calf, calf. C-A-L-F, right? Etcétera, etcétera, ok? And in general, children is plural, right? Children. Now. Un momento lleva ese. Sorry, Mauricio. En ningún, en ningún momento lleva S. No, no, never, 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 right? Porque, bueno. Eh, it's, it's irregular, Mauricio, it's irregular, es un, es un re, irregular. Like, for example, okay. feet. One foot, two it's feet. Feet. Uh -huh. uh, feet is irregular. You don't say foots, uh -huh. two foots. Uh -huh. No, 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 it's foot, feet. Other example is fish. Fish. One fish, fishes. two fish. You don't say fishes. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, it's irregular. Or, oh, uh, for example, man, men. Mm. You don't say there are there are three mans. No. There are mm. three men. Mm. Or oh, woman, women, right? Those are irregular. Okay, good. Now let me see, Cristina. How do you say computer programmer in Spanish, Cristina? Programador de computadora. Okay, very good, thank you. And how do you say Avi hospital administrator? Administrador de hospital. That's correct. And how do you say uh, Godofredo? How do you say everything is going well? Everything is going well. Eh, todo el tiempo. 
A ver si. Todo el tiempo está haciendo no sé qué cosa. Ok. Todo, everything, todo, no time, no time, right? Everything is going well. Todo está saliendo bien. Eh, Ajá. Yo no sé si, si ven, uh, de repente me aparecen, a ah, esto. ¿Alcanzan a ver este, el más y el menos ahí en su pantalla? Sí, estaba saliendo eso. Sí, sí, es que, ajá, es que, y de repente sale mi foto por aquí, no, no, no. Bueno, van a disculpar ahí, ¿verdad? El, el, el oso, pero. Es que es cada vez que mueve el, el mouse y le ha dado ah. mucho de zoom. Le he dado demasiado zoom, entonces tengo que alejarlo, ¿verdad? Eh, no, pero no con ese, sino con el que estaba viendo en la parte superior. Con, ah, no ok, con, con este. Ah, ok. Aquí le damos más chiquito. Le he dado 500. Ajá, ajá sí. Ajá. Entonces le voy a rebajar y mejor ¿Y le damos con este, era? ¿verdad? Ah, ok. Thank you. Hoy sí ya no aparece. Thank you. Are you a computer programmer? <ríe> ok, no. now, please. Now that Judy is working, Steve has to help her more with the housework. He doesn't enjoy it. Now that Judy is working, still has to help her. Listen, help her. You don't say help her. No, you say help her. He doesn't enjoy it, right? So any question about this? Question? No. Okay. So, um, Mirna, how do you say enjoy in Spanish? Enjoy, Mirna. Ajá, Silvia nos está manchando ahí, ¿verdad? Ya, ya le vamos a poner un castigo a Silvia. Okay. Ajá, Mirna. Disfrutar, teacher. Disfrutar, enjoy, right? And housework. Eh, Dinora, how do you say housework in Spanish? Mm. Trabajo de casa. That's correct. Housework, like wash the dishes, mop the floor, eh, clean the windows, etcétera, etcétera. Right? Todo el trabajo que nosotros los hombres nos toca hacer siempre en casa, right? Okay, good. Thank you. Now, Judy loves her work, but she feels too tired and busy. She also worries about the children. Por aquí tengo un mensaje. Give me a second. Uh, uh, okay. No problem, Silvia. I understand. I understand. Don't worry. Uh, she also worries about the children. Judy has to work on Saturdays, so Steve and Judy don't have a lot of free time together. Okay, good, class. Now, uh, do you have questions about vocabulary? Questions about vocabulary? What is tired? Tired. Listen, energetic, tired. Energetic, tired. Okay, understand? Okay. Oh, when you're running, right? Running. <sighs> I'm tired. Tired, right? Okay, that's tired. Good. Any other question? Teacher. Ajá, ajá. Eh, ¿Qué significa worries? Worry, right? Don't worry. Be happy. Worry is like, I, I have problems. <laughs> I am worried, right? Worry. Preocupado. Uh -huh. <laughs> Afligido. Right? <laughs> en en okay, algunas, teacher. en Oriente, eh, usan una palabra, no sé si alguna vez lo han escuchado, culío, dicen, en Oriente. Quiere decir que está preocupado, afligido, asustado, ¿verdad? Worry. <ríe> ok, good. Any other question? Now, let's continue, right? Emily is having a great time after school program. When Judy comes to pick her up, she doesn't want to leave. Okay, questions about vocabulary?
pick her up. Listen, pick her up. Pick her up. It's not pick her up. No, it's pick her up, right? Good. Unfortunately, Ben's school doesn't have an after school program, right? Si Emily tiene un uh, programa de para después de la escuela, right? Uh, ¿Cómo le llaman en las escuelas aquí? Eh, eh, club de tareas. Club de tareas le llaman en El Salvador, ¿ok? Pero en el caso de Ben, no, right? He doesn't have an after school program, right? He's spending most afternoon in front of the TV. Oh, okay. Spending, gastando, o usando su tiempo, right? In front of the TV. Questions? Good. Now, Josh is enjoying his new freedom. After school, he's playing his music louder and spending more time on the phone. He's also doing a few household chores. Okay, now questions? What is louder? Louder. Louder is high volume, right? This is not louder. Listen, hello, how are you? This is not louder. Now louder. Hello, how are you? High volume, right? Oh, okay. Thank like, you, teacher. When you use rock, when you listen to rock, you, you listen to rock louder, right? Okay? Understand? Fuerte. Yes, fuerte, right? Thank you very much. Okay, now, any other question? Questions? Uh-huh, please. What is household? Household, chores, means tareas de casa. Tareas del hogar, right? Repito. La que nosotros como hombres siempre hacemos. Yeah, excellent. Thank you. Household chores, tareas del hogar, right? Good. Now, let's go to the exercise, right? Let's go to the exercise. Uh, ¿Cómo me salgo de aquí? Uh, here, right? Good. Now, let's go here, right? And let's go to the questions. Eh, ¿Quién me preguntó ayer? Uh, eh, Rocío, parece. Uh, Karen. Cristina. Ah, ok, Cristina. No. Yes. Okay. ok, good. So <laughs> now it's time to make it together, right? Good. Now, which children are benefiting, benefiting, no, benefit, benef, benefiting, uh -huh, benefiting, which children are benefiting from duty working? So you have to copy two names. Two names, right? We have uh, Josh. Ben and Emily, but we can read here, right? Emily is having a great time. La está pasando super bien, right? After school program, right? So, se beneficia? Unfortunately, desafortunadamente, Ben's school doesn't have an after school program, right? So, he's only watching TV. So, unfortunately, ¿Creen que esto es positivo o negativo? So you take your decision, right? No, 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 don't say it. It's a secret. It's a secret, right? Josh is enjoying his new freedom, su nueva libertad. He's playing his music louder. Le da todo el volumen, ¿verdad? Así como mi vecino de ahí arriba, que le da todo el volumen a la música. ¿Ok? And he's spending more time on the phone. Solo whatsappeando pasa el pobre Josh. He's also doing a few household chores, right? Okay, uh, so do you think it's positive or negative for Josh? And then you can make your comment, right? Emily, Ben, and Josh. Tienen que escoger dos. Now, which child is not benefiting from Judy working? Now, ¿cuál de estos dos no se está beneficiando? De esos tres, sorry. Okay. Now, Four, which family members, ah, que habla de dos, are doing more housework? Como Judy está trabajando, ¿quién de estos cristianos le toca más trabajo? Ok. Don't say, please. It's retórica. <ríe> es pregunta retórica. Ok. 
Uh, which family member feels too busy? Too busy. ¿Quién de todos se siente más ocupado, right? Teacher. Yes, tell me, questions. Eh, yo solamente una que ahí la he dejado esperando llegar hasta que <laughs> Ok, ¿cuál es? ¿Cuál es? Es la del de examen final que... Ah, ok. Pero solo es una, solo es una que solo no es una. He, le he dado molote toda. Vaya, hagamos como... una cosa, nos vamos a adelantar un poquito para mañana. ¿Le parece? Sí. Ah, Veámosla pues, ah, y yo le, solo le voy a decir esa nada más. ¿Verdad? Ajá. Eh, ¿De cuál parte del examen es? A, B, C, D. Es el B. The letter B, vaya, aquí estamos ya. Complete the conversation, dice. Aquí hay varias sí, conversaciones. La 1 que... de la parte 2. La 1 de la parte 2. Le, le, le ha dado y le ha dado y no le da. No le... Ok, vamos a ver. Esa dice, use the present continuo. Va a usar el presente continuo, right? Of the verb. Sí, lo he utilizado. Ok. Uh -huh. Es una pregunta. Mire, es eso, una pregunta. Eso, Vaya, para, para hacer las preguntas del presente continuo, hacer el verbo, usar el verbo to be. ¿Ok? Sí, lo, lo he utilizado. Ajá. Vaya. Y dice, how is your sister? Como está hablando de la sister, que solo es una, ¿cuál forma del sí, verbo to be va a usar? Ah, vaya, no me lo conteste porque no queremos dar la respuesta todavía, pero le voy a dar la pista. Eh, va a usar am, are o is. ¿Ok? Sí. Y luego va a poner el pronombre. El pronombre de, de la sister. ¿Cuál sería el pronombre? ¿Sería he o she? Vaya, ahí tiene los he. dos. Ahí tiene los dos. Pero vaya, Ajá. le voy a hacer otra pregunta para que usted se ubique, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. How is Godofredo? Is he working? Is he working? ¿Ah? Entonces pongo primero el verbo to be, después pongo el sujeto, que en este caso sería he, que el he se refiere a Godofredo, y luego pongo el verbo work, working, ¿ok? Ahora en este caso al verbo study le va a agregar ing. Recuerde sí, que vimos maestro. tres reglas, ¿verdad? La regla número uno dice que a la mayoría de verbos se le va a agregar ing. La segunda regla dice que cuando el verbo termina en E, le vamos a eliminar la E y le ponemos ING. Y si el verbo tiene una consonante, una vocal y una consonante, entonces le doblamos la última consonante y le agregamos una, el ING. ¿En cuál de estos tres casos entra el verbo study, Godofredo? Sí, sí. El 1, 2 o 3. Yo le puse ING al final, le, le, le traducí el, la griega a esta. Ah, usted le cambió la Y. Ajá. Pero no hay ninguna regla que diga que hay que cambiar esa Y, Godofredo. Bueno, hay que, bueno, Todos los verbos que terminen en Y, solo agregue la ING. No le transforme nada. Ahí déjalo como está el verbo. Y me le agrega ING. Es la regla número uno. ¿Sí? Porque no termina en E. Ni tampoco es consonante, vocal consonante. Mira, hay varias Se consonantes. Sería raro, sería raro poner las dos. <risas> sí, pero así es. Podría ser, ¿va? no le estoy diciendo que así es, pero podría ser que por ahí esté el error, ¿verdad? Pruebe así. Sí, yo creo que Gracias. <risas> no, no le digo que sea la respuesta, porque no estamos dando respuestas. Que quede claro. <risas> ok, good. <risas> So now let's go to the to the reading. Let's go to the reading and we'll finish the class, right? Okay, give me a second. Regresamos al reading. Now, do you have any question? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta sobre el último ejercicio de la parte de la sección 5? The changing family. Any question? Recuérdense que solo van a poner los nombres de los miembros de la familia. Y son Judy, eh, 
Emily, Ben, Josh. ¿Cómo se llama el señor? Uh, Steve. Steve, Steve, right? Steve, ok. Solo eso van a poner el, ok en la respuesta, ¿verdad? No questions. Ok, como todavía nos quedan unos últimos eh, minutitos, we're going to finish with a game, right? Terminamos con un juego. Uh, le vamos a preguntar a Yosabet. Yosabet, ¿cuál quiere? ¿El de las mímicas o el que hicimos ayer, Yosabet? El de ayer. El de ayer le gustó, vale, vamos a hacer sí. el de ayer. ¿Qué categoría quiere, Yosabet? Tengo de personajes, objetos y comidas. Hicieron una pregunta. Sí, comida. Sí, sí. Comida, va, va, a vamos a hacer de comida. Pero vamos a la pregunta. Ajá. Saber si vamos pasando el, el nivel. <risas> Vaya, usted tiene acceso aquí, ya le voy a decir, mire. Aquí donde dice progress. Usted le da sí. clic. Y ahí le va a dar progreso. Yo porque como para practicar, eh, en algunos ejercicios yo los he hecho. Por ejemplo, los de la primera parte yo los hice en mi, en mi uh -huh. pantalla, ¿va? Por eso aquí uh -huh. dice que Javier Gómez tiene 100%, ¿verdad? Entonces, aquí vea usted, lo que tiene que hacer es llegar al 80%. Ah, ok. Si usted llegó aquí al 80%, ya la hizo. Pero lo ideal ah. es llegar al 100%, ¿verdad? Ajá, ajá. Va. Todas, Chévere, la barri to todas las barritas tienen que llegar aquí. Cuando usted tenga todas las barritas hasta aquí, ya tiene el ganador certificado. ¿Sí? Ok. Gracias. Tenemos hasta el viernes a las 12 de la noche. Tenemos hasta el viernes. Llegar hasta el 5. Hasta el 5 y el examen también. Ok. El examen yo lo voy a explicar mañana. Ok, teacher. Por, Va, todavía okay. si tiene alguna duda, ¿verdad? Ok, oh. vamos al jueguito y terminamos la clase. Ok. Pay attention, please. Girls versus boys again, right? Girls versus boys. A ver si ahora ganan una los, los muchachos. Ok. Now, food, we said, right? Ok. Now, the first word is fruit. Coconut. Coconut. Okay, very good. Girls, one point. Boys, and zero, right? Let's continue. In a second. Spaghetti. 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 Very good. Spaghetti. Very good. Next one. Hi. Boys, come on, please. Defendamos el gremio ahí. Muca. Ah, no, es en otro. Es en... <risa> en el otro idioma es ese. Capuchín. Tiramisú. No. no. Cafeteria. No, no. No, remember it food. Cafeteria is no food. Ice cream. Sorry. Ice cream. No. No, no. Oh. No. Three seconds. One, two, three. Cream. Cream. Crema, right? Perfect. Cream. Cream. Okay. Crema. What do you... ¿Qué le ponemos al café? Cream, right? Okay. No, no one win, right? Nadie ganó. Next one. Uh -huh. Belly bump. No? Uh, <laughs> no, come on. Three seconds. One, two, three. Garlic. <laughs> Garlic, right? ¿A qué le tienen miedo los vampiros? Eh? <laughs> Garlic, right? Okay, next one. Cook. 
cookies. No. Cupcakes. No. Biscuit. Biscuit. No. No, 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 no. Pizza. No. Cake. Potato. Mass potato, right? Chips are made of potatoes. Chips are, uh, you know, las papitas, right? Okay, the next one is easy. Esta sí es fácil. Onion. Onion, very good. <laughs> Onion, that's it, right? Next one. Sandwich. Sandwich. Yes, two, two, right? Dos a dos. Esta decide eh, el ganador, right? Porque no quiero mandarlo a dormir tarde. Let me see. The last one, right? Ready? Pizza. 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 Ok, no me dejaron terminar Pepperoni Ok, that's correct And girls win 3-2, right? Las chicas ganan 3 a 2 <laughs> Ok, class, have a good night God bless you, I don't know if you have any extra question Una pregunta Ah, yes, come on Mauricio, yes, este, come on oh, Ayer me llegó un WhatsApp donde me pedían de que se me podía inscribir en el siguiente Ajá. En el siguiente curso. Eh, ¿Cómo le pongo ahí? Si es, eh, ¿Cómo se llama el curso? Eh, ahora, bueno, no sé si a ustedes les mandé o al otro grupo fue, pero si no es a ustedes, ya se los voy a mandar. Sí, les voy a no, mandar el no, que no. Lo mandó, a man... pero lo mandó que es una, una... Un cuadrito. Un cuadrito, sí. Sí, sí. Pero aquí Bye. dice intermedio 2 le pongo. Intermedio, intermedio módulo 2. Intermedio sí, módulo 2, así sería su siguiente nivel, Ajá. ¿verdad? Ok, eso sí pasamos. Ah, no, mentira, todos vamos a pasar. Ajá. <ríe> ok, good. So, have a good sí, night. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.